Hey, fat guys in the woods, this is Michael Monroe, Squatchy Foot. We're going to do the challenge today of the one stick fire. It's going to be a one stick fire, knee high, in 15 minutes. Now, I have a couple adaptations that I got to do because I'm not allowed to bend down or, or anything like that because I have, still have the stitches in me. So, we're going to do this standing up, and I brought a tape measure with me so we can measure how high my knee is and then how high the flame is. This is the stick I chose to use. It's some kind of a hardwood. I honestly don't know. I think it's either uh, maple or oak. I'm not sure. Can't tell by the way the uh, bark is there. But basically a one stick fire is using one stick and splitting the stick down into smaller pieces. You use a baton. You use a baton to hit the top of your knife to split the wood. And then you just keep splitting it down and splitting it down till you get the smaller pieces. And it's those pieces that we'll use to make a fire lay to make a one stick fire. We're going to be using a natural tender today made from these one sticks. And I'll show you how to do that as well. Now for our ignition source, we are going to use we're going to use a, uh, a what's called a ferro rod, <clears throat> and it's a it's a little metal rod that when you scrape it with other metal, it'll create sparks hot enough to ignite the wood. As you can see, this wood is a little bit punky, but it'll be fine. More than a little bit punky. <laughs> we have uh, Dave back here doing the videographing for us. Hello. We're here at a little place called Tiedemann Park. It's in the center of Cleveland. We couldn't get out to the forest today. Due to my little issues, and oh, we have a little bit of weather going on. We had uh, thunderstorms and tornado uh, warnings last night, and we're probably going to get them today, too. So what's the advantage of a one stick fire? Well, you're not running around the woods looking for all your firewood. A couple different ways you can do this. You can do it up from the end like I was doing. Or you can come in from the edge like this.
the whole idea is making a bunch of little ones out of one big one. Okay, now I'm going to start going for what's called shavings. And basically what you're looking for is the places where you split the wood, where you have sharp edges. You just want to start making curls. Now the wind's blowing some of them away. You just keep finding your sharp edges to make those curls from. I'm trying to keep them small instead of big. As you can see, this is really, really dried out wood. I'm going to bring a couple of these down a little bit smaller. How are we doing there, Dave? Good. Looking good. When you're done, you always put your knife away. Don't set it on the ground. Don't set it somewhere where you lose it. So we're going to take these one sticks over. And I'll come back for the tender. I've laid a little bit of bark here so I can throw my tender on. Not supposed to be doing that. None of you have seen that. <laughs> Now, as you can see, this thing makes a whole lot of sparks. But the idea is getting the sparks onto your material to get it started. There we go. You want to get your wood up on there. Hi. Hey. <laughs> How 
you doing? Pretty good. <laughs> good. Uh, I got to get my guy to finish mowing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I, he's on overtime and stuff. I got. Go ahead, brother. I, I work I for the zoo and I got people working for me too. All right. Yeah, so right. I know. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. We're almost done, anyways. Okay. So basically, you let that work itself up into the wood, a little bit of air up in there. I think my knee is somewhere around 17 inches. Give or take. Right there, 17 inches. We'll let that work a little bit. about the mowing and stuff in the back we're at a park and as you heard the guy say he's got his guy up on uh, overtime already so what we're looking for is right there Brought some brats out with us. Yeah, right. <laughs> now, one of the myths about a campfire is boy, why does that smoke always come near me? Well, when you stand around it, you create a vacuum, therefore, the smoke goes into you. See how it's doing to me right now? It goes into you. There's my knee high. Within 15 minutes. Without a match. So, uh, hey everybody. Thank you. Get out there and do some of these challenges. I thank you for your support. Fat guys in the woods, by the way. Freak Stewart. Get his new article from Backwoodsman. Some of you got it in your Apaka box. They're out on the newsstands now. It's a good article. Good interview. We'll see you all later on the next video. Bye folks. Hey all fat guys in the woods and to Chris and Darrell from Dragonfire Tenderbox. This stuff is amazing. It's a fire lay in a bag. It gives you your tender, gives you some hardwoods, softwoods, fatwoods, needles, uh, cattails, everything you could possibly think of. And here's your uh, gratuitous t-shirt from Dragonfire Tender. <laughs> and Dragonfire Tender bag. It even comes with a bag of matches in here, for crying out loud. Uh, if you're in a place where you can't go picking up tender, either by law, or it's just not out yet. Grab one of these bags from Dragonfire Tenderbox. You'll enjoy it. You always have tender with you. I did not use that to start this fire, but I could have, and it would have been very easy. Thank you.